the viewers at home with that there stim free pre workout face. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? It's up. Coming to you from mjfitness.au. Yeah, in the filming <laughs> studio. <laughs> Brandon uh, sipping his fucking no, no. tea. <laughs> <laughs> At MJ Fitness headquarters with resident purveyor of the world's finest stim free pre workouts, Vince. What's going on? Vince, we are joined by the tea sipping. Always calm, cool, and relaxed. <laughs> This is why. <laughs> Brandon, the trying, people's ref. Brandon, what's zen. going on? I'm zen, man. The vo- <laughs> you are very zen. Yeah. The voice of the people over here. Uh, okay. Guys, uh, this Sup Wars, man, let me tell mm. you. Uh, I have, I've been getting DMs about these two products. Mm. About which one's better, which one tastes better, which one performs better, which one is better. About- All of the shit that we discussed in Sup Wars. Yeah. So we were like, these two are going head to head. Primabolics Grind mm. up against Nexus Amped. Primabolics Grind coming off a loss too. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm it was unhappy. undefeated. I'm still unhappy about that. It was, yeah, you're still bitter about it. Yeah, uh, it was undefeated for quite some time, and uh, and and um, I guess still licking the wounds. Yeah. from the last loss. I'm here for redemption. Nexus Amped first Sup Wars appearance. Some would call it a Sup Wars debut. Mm. Vince. Yeah. This Sup Wars round one. Is going to be ingredients, nutrition, breakdown. Round two is going to be flavors and taste. Round three, price and value for money. Round four, skin free pre workouts. It has to be versatility. And mm. if we need a round five, Brandon. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You said effects we'll and then see. versatility, right? We'll see. We might, we might, uh, we might need. Uh, sorry, did, uh, I meant, hold on a second. I fucked that up. Round one. <laughs> Ingredients, nutrition, breakdown. Round two. Flavors, flavors and, taste. and taste. Round three, price and value for money. Round four, effects. Round five, stackability. I thought in here, I, yeah, yeah. No, I jumped ahead of myself. Yeah. That's where the five rounds come for. Round five, stackability. Round four, effects, of course, from a stim free pre-workout. Mm. Vince, are you ready? I'm ready. Brandon, are you ready? Yes, sir. Round one, ingredients and nutritional breakdown. You start. Yeah, I think the I think the rookie, rookie should. should start. Yep. Nexus Amped, very impressive formula. Citrulline malate in a two to one ratio, six thousand milligrams, full clinical dose mm-hmm. of citrulline malate for the muscle pumps. Taurine, three thousand milligrams, massive dose of taurine mm. in there for muscular endurance. Glycosize, 3,000 milligrams, massive dose of glycosize in there. That's going to help with muscular endurance, muscle power, and muscle pumps through enhancing muscle volume and hyperhydration. Beta alanine, 3,000 milligrams for muscular endurance. Just under a clinical dose, but mm-hmm. still a massive dose of beta alanine. 2,000 milligrams of L-tyrosine as a precursor to L-dopa as a, uh, a, a mood enhancing ingredient. Mm-hmm. going to make you feel all kinds of nice. Betaine anhydrous, 1,000 milligrams to assist with the glycosides when it comes to muscle power. Vitamin C in there to help with absorption. We've got some Himalayan pink salt to help with electrolyte balance and supply some sodium. Alpha GPC in there for mental focus. Norvaline to prolong the muscle pumps. Mesembrine in there for mental focus. Vitamin B6 for natural energy production. And black pepper extract to help your body absorb the massive doses of all of those active ingredients. Vince, Mm. it does muscle pumps, it does muscle power, it does muscular endurance, it does elevation in mood, it does mental focus, it does it all. Except muscle power. No, it does muscle power. Where? On paper it does, it's got glycosides and betaine. Glycosides and help with muscle power, betaine a little bit, yeah sure, but not in the gram. Well, but we'll get to that in the facts. What you got? So, I have citrulline malate, two to one ratio, 6,000 milligrams, same as you. I have Vaso 6 in a 300 milligram dose, the full serve of Vaso 6. I, we'll get to it. Keep going. It's in there, it's been scientifically proven 
to increase blood flow. Yeah, I feel, like it was, I feel. I feel like. I feel like. Twenty. You feel like a cup of tea, like Brandon. Sixteen called, and they want their vaso six back. No. Feel, yeah, no, I reckon it's still here. Potassium nitrate, five hundred milligrams. Wait, where are your nitrates? We don't have nitrates. Yeah, or, or potassium. So in, that's all your skin tearing pump matrix. Uh, for muscle power, we have creatine monohydrate, a five gram dose, full serve creatine monohydrate. Bit of alanine, 3.2 uh, grams. So you only had 3,000 milligrams, uh, 3,200 full, um, what we consider a full dose. You guys just kind of took a bit out. And then betaine and hydrous in a 2,000 milligram dose. So you've only got 1,000 milligrams. So muscle power is really taken care of. We then have L-tyrosine for elevation of mood, 1,000 milligrams. Alpha size, 300 milligrams, which is your alpha GPC. And Hooperzine A in a five milligram uh, dose, so 50 micrograms. That's it? That's it. Nothing to help with absorption, like a vitamin C or a black pepper extract? don't need it, man. Well, I mean, you got big do- you just said it, big doses of active ingredients. What happens if your body can't absorb them? They, it will. What's the point? It will absorb them. Have a crack of pepper and put it on top. They're both very good formulas. They are very good, They're yeah. They're very good, standing back from the two of them. But one's more very complete good. than the other, and you did have nothing to help um, with the ment- help the mental focus stay around, the kind of Hooperzine A. You got nothing to help the muscle pump stay around. Where's your Norvaline at? But mine come from different um, pathways. Fair point. You just got really, for muscle pump, is citrulline. Fair point. Glycoside is hyperhydration, so really that's endurance or hydration let's talk about the elevation in mood that you got what you got in there uh gram of tyrosine that's it that's it i got double dose of tyrosine and i got some mesembrine in there that's fine better for mood yeah but not better for performance enhancing effects which is what you're taking your pre-workout for how much is a full uh two scoop serve what does it weigh uh 20 grams Mm, 27 because you buff it up with three grams of taurine <laughs> and some vitamin C. Brandon, what are your thoughts on these formulas? Yeah, man? look, as I said before, like I, I usually come in here, I have a quick look at the panel before I come in, I sort of get a good idea, but man, these are two of the most complete. These are my two favorite, probably almost all time, stim free pre workouts already. Do you like, have I'm, um, I'm, both of them in your rotation? At yes, the moment? yeah. So I've Do just you have finished. both in your rotation? Not at the moment. I just finished grind and I've just gone to amps to mm-hmm. compare the differences. I don't have both though. I've got both. Mm. Mm. I actually did a poll on my Instagram story this morning asking my followers which one I should take. Yeah. So we're we're all very well versed in uh, both of these stim free yeah. Anyway, Brandon, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. No, that's all good. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's just go through them because that's the only way. All right. So with pumps. Both got six grams of citrulline, uh, citrulline malate. Yeah. Amped has, it has glycerol, uh, a big dose of glycerol, which will help. It, help, it doesn't help directly help with like blood. <laughs> it doesn't help with, <laughs> I feel like mine hasn't really clumped, hey? I don't know, maybe it's a new batch or something. There's a little bit It hasn't been around. Yeah. Luckily, um, that's not in, well, that's not in the round of something. Yeah, so the glycerol. It's round seven. <laughs> like you said, the glycerol will help with hyperhydrating your muscles. No pump, no pump. Oh, well. So it won't necessarily um, help with blood flow, but it'll help with, you'll, you'll feel more pumped because yeah. it is hyperhydrating you. So it'll I do like this negatively effect effect performance because it's going to reduce res- movement. Oh, bullshit, Vince. And Come on, man. Everyone we know, we know, your, biceps yeah. we know out, your biceps man. are huge, man. But Well, I mean, you need to get the full range of motion mm. and you get that restriction from uh, too much pump. Well, too much hydration, not enough pump, not enough blood flow. Activating your lats, not man. Thickness. Too much in your bicep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so we've got citrulline, glycerol. Um, you've also got your hydration ingredients in there as well, which will help taurine and then um, some pink Himalayan salt. And then norvaline as well to help the pump stay around. Whereas grind has citrulline, same dose. And then it does have vasodrive. It does have some nitrates in there as well. And potassium and sodium for electrolytes in there as well. You're missing those. Where's the sodium? Oh, At there. the top, 400 milligrams. Okay. Um, yeah, to be honest, I, I call it a tire, the first, with pumps, I think. What about, um, oh, okay, with pumps, yeah. Uh, yeah, with yeah. pumps, yeah. Um, what about so, the nitrates? Have you ever had some nitrates? Yeah. Pumps are delicious, man. I yeah, think I mean, nitrates on one side, glycerol on the other side, Vince. It's perfect combination. And then the if you had the beef, they were well. all in the same product. Fantastic. It is in the same product. You don't have glycerol in yours. I don't need glycerol. No, that's what I'm saying. I uh, know you said I got glycerol, you got nitrates. Take together. one or the other. Yeah, they balance out. No, I don't think so. 
And then you've got the, the Norvaline as well. Glycerol is not for pumps, though. It can for be. water retention. Isn't that what feeling pumped is? Just feeling swole? No, it's blood flow. You don't want water, you want blood. I want both, man. Hmm. Uh, for, so for, yeah, power, um, grind definitely wins. Like, even though I'd, I'm not really fussed if I'm getting creatine on a hydrate, especially in with my pre-workout, because it is a saturation-based ingredient, uh, it saves you taking it on the day that you use grind. Um, and then... Yeah, really, only, mm. only really has um, betaine for amped, correct? For muscle yeah, power? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, so I do prefer um, grind in that one. Um, endurance, you hit the clinical dose for beta alanine in grind with 3.2, you're 200 milligrams off with, with amped, but then you also get taurine, you get um, pink Himalayan salt, you get glycerol, think, glycerol as well, so mm. better endurance with amped. But you get less sodium. If you're talking salt, you got less by the pink Himalayan uh, salt, which takes it to get sodium. You have 150 milligrams. I have 400. So you can take that out of there and say grind's actually better. Where's that sodium coming from, though? It doesn't matter. It's, it's in there. sodium, man. Less minerals with pink, pink, pink Himalayan salt you get. It doesn't matter. Brandon loves pink Himalayan salt. I do, man. He has yeah, up every morning. Every morning, yeah. yeah we were just... talking about it in the podcast earlier today. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this, this <laughs> doesn't matter. That seems like some bias going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I do go uh, endurance definitely, um, definitely amped, and then and then mental focus, man. It's hard, like obviously better mood with amped, um, bigger dose of tyrosine, and then the same amount of alpha GPC, correct? But you don't have the hupazine. Hupazine, eh? I mean, how yeah, long? You don't have mesembrine though, but and you got half the dose of tyrosine. But mesembrine, like literally half the dose. No one really uses mesembrine that much because it doesn't really work that uh, well. A lot of companies are starting though. Also mm. known as Canna. Because it's cheap. Uh, maybe, but it's effective <laughs> as well. Yeah, look. I don't think I've seen Brandon go this deep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in a fucking round one ever. He's so how make sure he gets so this right. Yeah, so Hoopazine A, you put in there to obviously uh, prevent it's the breakdown of the choline, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, yeah. so as soon as you have alpha GPC or choline, your body wants to Break it down immediately, almost, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it wants to bring to you back down to homeostasis. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wonder how long that would actually take. And what does mesembrine actually do? Canna. Yeah, it's a calming ingredient. So it doesn't actually do anything to help you stay focused. No, it's not a focus ingredient. It's a mood ingredient. Yeah. So. But uh, in fact, it doesn't. Yeah. Like you've already got too much tyrosine. It's pointless. So, but I think the actual focus blend is going to be better with grind. Yeah, but then the mood and feeling well-being is better and amped. But if you're performing, what do you want? You want to be focused? Yeah. And you're going to feel good still with a gram of tyrosine. If I was to have alpha GPC right now, mm. how long would it take to come on and then how long do you reckon? Without Huberzine A, would it take to it taper depends off? depends how much you're having. Yeah. 300 milligrams. It depends how full your stomach is as well. But let's just say like empty stomach you would probably get like an elevation in mental focus within five to 10 minutes. Yeah, I'd agree. Right. Uh, how long do you reckon it'd last without Hupazine A? 15. On average. 15. No. <laughs> I don't know what the half-life is. Well, of, that's your uh, session done, isn't it? Of, of alpha <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take a stab at the arc and I'm going to say like two hours. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you're training longer than that for yeah. the Hupazine A to really I agree, Brandon. counteract no, that I argument. I don't agree. I don't know, man. I like... I do like the high. You don't want to come out of the gym and then. This is the longest fucking first round in Sub Wars Well, man, this is, make a this is make call, or break. Man. Well, I mean, when I look, when I <laughs> have a um, pre workout, man, I want an elevation in mood. I want mental focus as well, but most people just need to get the fuck off their phone yeah. to focus. Yeah, we're not talking about phones, man. We're talking about pre workout. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're talking about effects, man. This is effects. And look, mental focus and uh, mood, I think, goes to amped. So around oh! goes to amped. Oh! oh! Does it really now? It's better mood, man, and the focus isn't going to taper off for long nah. enough for you to make a difference. <laughs> oh, 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 so. oh, you, got, you got something against grind, don't you? Round one goes to oh, Nexus Amp. I was not expect I was yeah. expecting a tie at best. Yeah, that's what I was thought. It's zero to one. The rookie making his debut straight into the lead in the fucking longest first round we've ever had. Can we get oh, through no. round two a bit quicker, please? Oh, man, we've got to speak Flavors up. and taste. Vince, I'll lead off, man, because mm. Ant uh, comes in five flavors with the addition of the new Ghost Drop. So Ghost Drop, Citrus Bomb, Jawbreaker, 
Nerd or Grape Explosion. So I think they just renamed that one. Are you sure it's not discontinued? And uh, Red Sour Straps. Five flavors, delicious across all flavors, apart from the citrus. Take it or leave it. I'll give you the citrus. I'll just pour the citrus. (laughs) (laughs) All right, the citrus is good too. This is not my personal cup of tea. What you got, Vince? Anyway, Primal's Grind comes in six flavors Mm. grape, mango, paradise fruits, pineapple, red frog, I should say MJ Fitness, Master Joe's red frog, and strawberry kiwi. Six, and they're all delicious. Mm. They're all fruit based though. Oh, except except for our exclusive flavor. That's the only candy base. Yeah. And it's fucking good. It is good. Just got to put that out there. And I'd say the grape tastes like a, like a bubblegum sort of yeah. hubba bubba yeah, grape. Yeah, fair enough. It's a different grape, and I'm not usually the biggest fan of grape, but... It's yeah, good. All, like, all, all the flavour... I mean, these guys pioneered good flavours. The first product it's a, to it's, have... It's a tricky one, though, because... It's ants, not tricky at all. No, it is, because... Six to five, is, all delicious. Six wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's real simple. Cut right down the middle. Cut the shit. Yeah, look. I'll make a quick food bread. <laughs> yeah, both of these flavors, they're probably not even in like pre workouts, man. They're the best tasting fucking drinks I've had. Um, but yeah, with the one more flavor, man, like I can't split them because the flavors are unreal. So yeah, round two goes to grind. Can I say what I was going to say? Yeah, go before, ahead. Before we round out this round, <laughs> I was going to it say out. it's a tricky one because the ant flavors are all candy flavors. And then the grind flavors, aside from the MJ's Red Frog, are all fruit based flavors. Mm. So, like, if you want more kind of true to fruit based flavors, it's grind. If you want candy flavors, it's amped. If you hate candy flavors, it's grind. If you hate fruit based flavors, it's amped. I mean, citrus bomb is kind of lemon lime. It's a fruit. Round two <laughs> goes to Power Blocks Grind. We're all tied up. One, one, round three, Vince. Yeah. Price and value for money. Mm. So, Power Blocks Grind is $69.95 for 40 scoops, 20 serves. Next to Sam, $69.95 for 40 scoops, 20 serves. Mm-hmm. Round three is a tie. Round three is a tie. Now we've got a sup wars in our hand. It's 1.5 to 1.5 leading into round four. Effects. Vince. Yes. I'm going to lead off on this one. Okay. Because I have both of these in rotation. Yeah. I have been training on both of these. Yeah. And I have very recent firsthand experience on which one I prefer for different effects. Okay. Pumps. Interestingly, grind. Me too. Yeah. Power. Grind. Me too. Endurance. Amped. Yeah, I'd agree. Feeling of well-being and mood. Amped. Mm -hmm. Focus. Grind. Three to two. That's my personal experience. Mine's the, exactly question the, that, the question then is, the two that amped win, do they win them by enough to offset the three that grind win? No. It's a tricky one for me, man, because like depending on what I'm training, uh, I will choose one or the other. And I don't think they win by enough because you said endurance goes to amped. Yes. But only just. It's not The endurance isn't that much more amazing. Uh, it's noticeable. Like, for the, the like, I, I prefer, and this is the thing for me, and this is why I say it depends on what muscle group I'm training. If I'm training back or legs, yeah, I'm training on, uh, on amped because I actually don't want excessive pump, I want more endurance. Mm. So that's when I'm going amped. Everything else I'm trying to grind because I want better pumps, better power, better mental focus. How many days a week you train? Uh, so five at the moment so just three down to five three of those days you use grind yeah pretty much two of those days you use amped yeah, pretty much so you're getting <laughs> grind is really the choice the pre-workout of choice fuck <laughs> is that it because i don't think i have to say like I, I don't know if you want my experience because i don't man to be honest i almost can't even split them like when i think about them like i love using both of them and i'll change them up like one one week i'll train legs with grind the next week i'll train it with amped but they both feel very similar to me like i personally feel i'm not sure if it's a glycerol like i do mm. love glycerol man i feel my pumps are better with amped um power i can't really tell like i take creatine every day it, it, i don't know if it's just placebo in my head with that but i can't really tell with that um mood and mental focus i mean i get probably better mental focus with grind mm. um and then endurance like and the mood you don't even notice because you skip straight over it. So. Yeah. 
So and I then, notice the mood big time. Mm. For me, the, like, mood, the mood I, I notice as well. Yeah, like yeah. Amped, mm. Amped is fucking one of the best in free pre workouts of all time when it comes to it's elevation cool. and mood. No, oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, when okay. it comes to elevation and mood, like it's, it's fucking world class. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, so, it is good. So, you know, they've just hit that sweet spot. Interestingly enough, though, when it comes to mental focus, and this it plays into what we're talking about with Hooper's in AE, Brandon, mm. is like grind is significantly better. It is, yeah. Like when I'm on grind, like I'm, I feel wired in. Mm. I don't get that with amped at all. No. So there's definitely something around the Hooper A because that's the only difference, right? They've both got the same amount of alpha GPC. Yeah. Uh, unless there's something happening in amped between the the um, the nootropic effect of the tyrosine and the mesembrine as well. Potentially. I'm not 100 percent sure, but like that effect is quite noticeably much more enhanced in grind than it is in amps. Yeah. I agree. I agree yeah. with that as well. I do feel the mood better, but I do feel the uh, mental focus significantly better with grind. Mm. Um, power, sort of redundant for me. Um, endurance, I do feel with amped. Mm -hmm. Just, but I don't know, man. Like, I think you guys have sort of separated them already, and I do agree. The, mo the more complete, like it hits, hits mood, it hits down. Um, Hits mental focus. It hit down, hits the breakdown of mental focus. I mean, it does have the like the creatine. It has everything in there. Like, there's mm. nothing in there. It's really missing, other than like glycerol. But it's not missing. It's, it's not needed. Yeah, it's really an ingredient that it's not a necessity in a stim-free pre-workout. So, yeah, for effects, man. Like, I still think grind is the cream of the crop, and round four goes to grind. Round four. Goes to Primabolics Grind, 2.5 to 1.5, round five, stackability. I don't even know if we can split them on this. I was going to say, I don't think you can. I don't, know, I don't know where you're going to go with it. Because they're both stackable. With and like, anything. Like I stack both of them with whatever the fuck I want mm. without really thinking Me twice too. about it. Yeah. Like there's, no, there's no agmatine you've got to be aware of. They both have big doses of beta alanine mm. that you, maybe you do want to be aware of. Um, I'm not sure that you can split them on stackability. I don't think so. What do you reckon, Brandon? Yeah, I don't think so either. The only, uh, yeah. I mean, you could get too much tyrosine if you have amped in a pre-workout that has tyrosine also. Can you ever have too much tyrosine? Mm, yeah, you can. It's a bit of a bell-shaped curve mm. with tyrosine. I mean, if you like, have, you have half a dose. Of it is, amp. yeah. Like it's, you know, you got to be talking like three, four, five grams. Mm. You know, if you... Yeah, it's going to be, I don't think that there's, you know, if Amped had like four or five grams of tyrosine in it, then you'd be going, yeah, you probably don't want to stack that with anything that's got more tyrosine, but at two, and if you're stacking it, you're probably going to take one scoop of Amped, one scoop of something else. True, yeah. I, I, don't, yeah, think it, I don't think it really plays in. Like, I, it hasn't been something I've considered until you just mentioned it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't think so, man. Like. They perfectly half their ingredients for everything if you want to stack it with a stim based, um, well, pretty much the stim based mm. pre workout. Like if you if you half grind, you're getting half the dose of creatine you want a day, so you need to make sure you have some creatine. Mm. Um, what about if you're having, it doesn't really matter if you're having like monohydrate and then you, because you, you take HDL, both of you take HDL, right? Mm. Doesn't matter. The Just take another scoop. Yeah. yeah, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. You're taking two of the most proven types is yeah. probably better, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I don't, I can't separate those, man, so that's a tie. Round five is a tie, which means, ladies and gentlemen, this Sup Wars has been won! Three to two, Primabolics grinds back on the winner's podium. Redemption. Very close. Mm, it was. Two Closer than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, like, ultimately, you, man, you can't go wrong with either of them. No. They are both very, very good, uh, complete stimulant-based pre-workouts. I think it's going to come down to personal preference on a couple of things. Yep. The first one's going to be flavor. Yep. Um, the amped flavors are very sweet, very strong candy-based. For some people, it's like, whoa. That, and then for other people, it's like, oh, this is a party in my mouth. Yeah. Um, so I think the flavor is going to be one of the determinants. And then really, I like the biggest thing for me, man, to be completely honest, is the mental focus piece. Yeah. Like if mental focus is important to you, you're going to enjoy grind better. Yeah. If it's not really that important to you, 
amped is going to be better for mood. Um, I think that nootropic is probably how you split them because pumps, like I said, I prefer grind on pumps. They're both exceptional. For they pumps. are both. Yeah, good. They're both very good for muscular endurance. Uh, muscle power, as you kind of mentioned, Brandon, like the one d distinguishing feature is the creatine. It's a saturation ingredient anyway. Most people are taking it in addition to their pre-workout anyway, so it's kind of redundant. Yeah. So from a muscle power perspective, meh goes in the other direction. The nootropic is where it splits. If you want mood and elevation in feeling of well-being, amped is better. Yep. If you want mental focus, grind is better. Apart yep. from that, fucking, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a scoop of each of them bitches, I'm going to put them in my shaker, and I'm going to stack them. That would taste pretty good. I, I haven't done that yet. Yeah. yeah. But uh, when we just were talking about stackability, I was like, why haven't I done that? Mm. <laughs> Idea. I'm going to take the MJ's exclusive red frog, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stack it with the red sour straps, and I'm going to have a fucking party. Yeah. It's going to be great. I'll take the grape explosion or the nerd explosion stack with the grape as well. Yeah. That's pretty well together. Like you, yeah. Little fruit salads, candy, candy fruit salads in there. Vince, do you have anything else you'd like to add? No, that's it. Brandon, anything else you'd like to add? Nope. Guys, that is Sup Wars. Primabolics grind with the win over the newcomer Nexus Amped, making its Sup Wars debut. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the MJ Fitness YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on on your mobile, your cell phone, your desktop PC, smart TV, and whatever other device you are watching this video on. Until next time, where we're coming to and from, Vince. MJFitness.au.